All right, in this video, we're going to try and figure out how does mass and how does distance affect how strong the force of gravity is. So we have to try and think about first, what are the types of relationships? And this is a link to math. So first we have a direct proportion. And what that would mean is, for example, if we were to use distance as the example, if distance doubled and then the gravitational force doubled, then they would be directly proportional to each other. However, if we were to double the distance and see that the gravitational force becomes half as strong, that would tell us that this is an inverse proportion. What we would be doing is dividing by what we doubled, so dividing by 2. And if we were to triple it, then we would be dividing it by 3. So tripling the distance would make it a third as strong. So you can see how that would cause the the relationship to look like this. As your distance were to increase, then the gravitational force would decrease. But we don't know if that's true or not. We're just saying this: these are the types of relationships that exist. We have to figure out which one it is. Now there's another one where it's an inverse square proportion. So you divide by whatever you're doing squared. So for example here, as the distance doubles, the gravitational force becomes a quarter or as it triples, it becomes a ninth. So one over three squared, one over two squared. Double is two, triple is three. So two squared, three squared. So we have to try and think about, well, how can we set up an experiment to see what happens? So let's go to the simulator here and let's take the ruler and let's put this at zero. So right now it's at four meters in distance and we're going to try and vary the distance by doubling the distance and seeing what happens to the force. So you can see the force is up here. So right now it's 3963. So now if we double the distance we can see it went down to 9996. So roughly, it went from 4,000 to roughly 1,000. So we doubled the distance, but then it became a quarter of the force. So what we can see here is that distance doubles gives us gravitational force. That's a quarter of the strength. Therefore, it's an inverse square proportion. And this really matches our equation. Force is equal to these terms divided by distance squared. So we can actually see it from the formula that is going to be an inverse square relationship because we're dividing by distance squared. But that's how we would think about it mathematically. Now the other one is, now that we've looked at distance, now let's try and look at mass. So let's put our object back. And now what we're going to do is instead of manipulating the distance, we'll control it. But why don't we try to double the mass? So we'll just choose one of the masses to double. And right now we're again at 4,000. So let's increase from 25 kilograms to 50 kilograms. And you can see here now we're at 8,000. So we went from 4,000 to 8,000. That's doubling. So um, we doubled the mass and then the gravitational force doubled. So this one would show us that mass and force due to gravity are directly proportional to each other. As one doubles, the other doubles. So we could also see that in this expression because they're both numerators. So therefore, um, whatever you do to the numerator, numerator um, will cause your answer to be increased by that same magnitude. So now that we understand that mass is a directly proportional relationship and distance is inverse square proportion, we can try and s answer some questions. So let's suppose that two objects attract each other with a gravitational force of 16 units. If the distance between the two objects is doubled, what is the new force of attraction between the two objects? So in this case, we know it's an inverse square relationship between distance and force. So doubling the distance 
will quarter the force. So 16 divided by 4 would be 4. Number 2. Suppose that the two objects attract each other with a gravitational force of 16 units. If the distance between the two objects is reduced in half, so they got closer together, what is the new force? So if they get closer, we know it's going to get stronger. So we have to think about how much. So reduced in half, another way for you to think of that is it's twice as close. Well, twice as close, then we square that. That's going to mean that it's four times stronger. So doubling how close it is increases it by a factor of four because it's a square relationship. So 16 times four, in that case, 64. Now let's suppose that two objects attract each other with a gravitational force of 16 units. If the mass of both objects was doubled, and if the distance between the objects remained the same, what would the new force be? Well, what we have to think about is, okay, mass one doubles, and mass two doubles. So together, um, that would be four. Now why is that four? Well, you just think about our formula mass 1 times mass 2. So if you double this one and you double this one, that's and they're multiplied together, it's 2 times 2. You've essentially increased the overall um, mass by a factor of 4 by doubling both. So in that case, we're going to take 16 and then multiply it by 4. So this time, let's look and suppose that, again, it's 16 units. The mass of both objects, oh wait, skip one here, sorry. Suppose that two objects attract each other with 16. Both masses doubled, and the distance was doubled. So this one's a little more complicated. We have to think about it. Well, first, again, the mass of both objects, 2 times 2, means that we're going to increase the force by a factor of 4. So that would take it to 64. And then we know that the distance was doubled, and since distance is a square relationship, doubling the distance quarters the force. So we would then take our 64 and divide it by 4 again. So it would end up back at 16. Essentially there would be no change in the force of gravity then. The increased mass kind of cancels out um, the fact that it's further away. So for 15 now we have 16 units. Mass is tripled. Distance is doubled. What would be the new one? So at this point you might have to start writing some math down and not doing it mentally. But what we think about again is, okay, the mass of both objects is tripled. So that's like, okay, taking this 3 times 3. So that will result in a directly proportional 3 times 3, 9, our force being increased by a factor of 9. Now the distance was doubled, inverse square, so we know we double the distance, we quarter the force. So it would be 16 times 9, and then divided by 4. So when you do that, you would end up with 36. So those are sort of the ideas, and they get more complicated, so that would be for the more higher level questions. Um, try to understand this, try to experiment with the simulations, and if you're having difficulty, then you should try to create these data tables um, for the first option, and fill them in and try to understand how the numbers are changing as you change each factor.